Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How Mali got independence? The Malian region has been the center of three great empires and kingdoms that controlled the trans-Saharan trade. The earliest was the Ghana Empire, which covered most of West Africa and lasted from the 8th century until 1078 when the Almoravids conquered it. The other two were the Gao and Mali empires. The medieval empire of Mali was a powerful and prominent state and at a time, one of the world's major gold suppliers. It got to its peak under Mansa Musa, who was one of the richest monarchs in world history. His fame spread when he made a big pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324 with excessive amounts of gold and numerous servants. In his time, Malian cities like Timbuktu and Jene became important centers renowned for scholarship and trade globally. Timbuktu by then had a university, one of the earliest in the world. People came from beyond the continent to study mathematics, astronomy, and arts in this university. By the 19th century, the Malian Empire had long ceased to exist. Umar Tal, a Muslim preacher, had unified the tribal groups and formed an empire that stretched from Timbuktu to Senegal. In the south, another Islamic state had formed under Samari Touré, who had united the Mandike people. So, by the time the French came to set up their colony in the region, the forces they had to fight and subdue were those of Samari Touré and Umar Tal. By 1904, the French had virtually brought the entire region under their control and Mali, which was called French Sudan, became a part of the Federation of French West Africa. During both World War I and II, the French forced and drafted many people from the French Sudan, especially from the Bambara tribe, as Bambara soldiers had a reputation for bravery and reliability. Many of the Senegalese riflemen were actually Bambara from Mali, called French Sudan then. After both wars, but especially after World War II, veterans attained considerable standing within the colonial administration and got the respect of the local population. Then, Africans generally had begun making stronger political demands on their colonizers. Also, there was a growing anti-colonialist war at the international level. Again, Africa's participation and sacrifice in the two world wars were well recognized especially by the Allied forces. All these were the main factors that played huge roles in ensuring French colonial subjects acquired more important rights politically. So in 1946, the Sudanese were granted French citizenship and were allowed representation in the French parliament. Under the constitution of 1946, a territorial assembly was also established and was given the right to elect a council of ministers that would be responsible for the administration of internal affairs. A nationalist movement, which was spearheaded by trade unions and student groups, had already begun to bloom during the period between the two world wars. The Sudanese Union, which was a militantly anti-colonial party, became the major political force and was led by Modibo Keita, who claimed descent from the medieval emperors of Mali. As the colony moved towards self-governance, it was the party best positioned to take over the administration of the country. In 1958, a French constitutional referendum was held and French Sudan voted to join the French community. The name of the region was then changed to the Autonomous Sudanese Republic. Early in the next year, in January 1959, representatives of the Sudanese Republic, Senegal, Dahomey, now Benin, and Upper Volta, now Burkina Faso, met in Dakar, Senegal, and drafted a constitution of the Federation of Mali named after the medieval Mali Empire but only the assemblies of the Sudanese Republic and Senegal ratified it, the other two assemblies of Dahomey and Upper Volta did not. So, only Senegal and Mali became members of the federation. 
Later that year, the new Mali Federation asked the French community to grant it complete sovereignty while permitting it to remain in a member of the community. Modibo Keita became the president of the new federation. However, hopes that other Francophone states would also join the union later were never actualized, and in August 1960, the union dissolved due to major policy differences between the two countries. The union had lasted for barely a year. A month later, on the 22nd of September, the Sudanese Republic, which was renamed the Republic of Mali, obtained complete independence from France and cut off ties with the French community. Modibo continued as the president of the new Republic of Mali. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.